Hey, so welcome to my review of Lift Tech Vulcan. I um, just got this mouse today and app is testing it in games. And I'm going to let you know how does it work. So, the first thing I noticed with that mouse is this. This is quite heavy. And you can make it lighter by opening up the screws that are under this mouse field. I opened the screws. And after that, I took out a metal part that was in the mouse to increase the weight. Uh, manufacturers do this to make their mouse feel more premium, I guess, but that just adds up more weight and really makes it quite uncomfortable. Now, this mouse is kind of lighter, but it's still a quite heavy mouse. And as you can see, this mouse with overall kind of big it's like a medium size you can say it really is good for your palm grip your palm gripping that mouse for like claw grip or uh, it's like fingertip grip it just doesn't force that well if you are doing a claw grip it's just kind of okay this section over here the dent they have like this this yeah, your fingers generally set quite comfortably in here when palm gripping but when like claw gripping it's just it's a little too deep and kind of it's okay but not a big problem the buttons are quite reachable and they're quite soft the side buttons now the mouse one mouse two and the dpi buttons are the mouse one and mouse two button is quite clicky and the d5 buttons are a little bit clicky uh, let me show you we just move the mic closer to the mouse buttons the mic over here let's get this going on okay give the mic right beside the mouse button it gets there actually and now I'm going to test it Let's take the mic this side of here. I hope now I can tell that how good the buttons are. This button doesn't have any spring tensioning like Logitech G102 but it's still quite clicky and the sensor of this mouse the Fargo 3050 sensor is quite good you can't really hit like good flick shots with it but you can flick the mouse and like hit some nice shots with it you just can't go too fast because if you are really going really fast like two pixel fast like that um, uh, if you're reacting really fast or if you're like really moving your mouse a lot and uh, you're also using really a low sensitivity then this might mouse might lag a bit so if you're really uh, really like very good at aiming then this might this mouse not might be for you not might be the right mouse because the sensor won't handle very fast movement it's kind of stuck let me show you I went at the practice range. And overall, here, if I just pick up my. Yeah. Oh, let me just get it out. So. 
so let's say the cut the cut uh, the crosshair is a dot crosshair as you can see it's a dot now if i move if i make a small adjustment it can hit the shots but if i really do it too fast like really fast then you will get stuck as you can see i am trying to move my mouse but it won't detect the speed if you try to move your mouse slowly like that then it will track the speed so it had to be like this fast and also go really fast like that but you can go too fast you can go too fast or it will not take the movement so quite basic like that and also it works quite fine so, and also there's a problem with this mouse that the scroll wheel doesn't work nicely when you first get this mouse when you scroll up it goes down and when you scroll down it actually goes up the pieces go up so you need to change that into registry settings you can just find the guide on google pretty easy and that's pretty much it um, i think this is a really good value for money mouse for the rgb effect because a lot of expensive logitech mouses don't have a good rgb effect this mouse does has that it also has a full spectrum rgb with a wave effect so it really matches up with your rgb keyboard if you have one and i think if your goal is to like just get a good setup which looks cool then this mouse is just fine but if you really want good performance i would say go for the g102 at least or maybe a even higher end mouse i want to really recommend any heavy mouse if you're going for a mouse if you're going for like the g402 or anything i want to really recommend that for gaming because heavier mouses are generally they lead to inconsistent aim because if the movement is easier then be easier for to react and flip and that's pretty much it so well i'll just end the video here and overall this is a really good mouse i would recommend it thanks for watching